Now, one of the best features with the new Chromecast is the actual Google TV interface. And as you guys know, that interface allows you to aggregate all of your different streaming services into a single pane of glass. So directly from the home screen, I can access content, whether that's movies or TV shows, from all of those different services that I'm subscribed to. Now, just for reference, guys, Google TV supports a total of 30 different streaming services. Now, what if I told you that there was another application which had very similar functionality to that Google TV, but actually aggregated content from over 150 different streaming services. And again, through this single application, you can access all of your content and even free content, whether that's from Crackle or Pluto, or even Tubi TV. Now, this application is 100% free. It was recently updated to support even more services. I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the latest second generation Fire TV Cube, but I've also tested this application on the 4K Fire Stick and also the Nvidia Shield, but do leave me a comment below if any of you guys do test this on any other Android device out there. Okay, let's click on next. Click on next again. Now here we have the option to create a login. Now this is completely optional, but if you do want to create things like, you know, watch lists or mark movies as your favorites and really just get more of that Google TV like experience, then I probably would say that you should create a login. But in my example, I'm just going to click on get started. Let's get started. And we now have to select whichever services that we're subscribed to. And the very first thing at the top is actually the free bundle. Now, because I'm in the UK, the only applications I have for the free bundle are just all four BBC iPlayer, My5 and ITV. But I will show you in a second what happens when you do this from America or using a VPN with a USA IP address. So let me just click on this. So I'm going to select that. I also subscribe to Prime Video, uh, Netflix, uh, let's just do Disney Plus as well and click on done. And here we have the option to sign in. But again, I'm just going to click on skip for now. And that's it, guys. Based on the subscription services that I clicked on, this will now aggregate that content and present all of the different movies and TV shows from those particular subscription services. Say, for example, in the home, we've got some of the popular section. Some of the things in here, like Mandalorian, obviously. And let's go down. Here we have the trending TV shows. Here we have trending movies, popular TV shows, and of course, anything that you want to watch. Let's say I want to watch this uh, Attack of the Titan. Let's click on that. The first thing the application does, it gives you a really nice summary about that movie or TV show. I can see the rating on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. I can see when it was aired. I can see the cast, and it tells me that this is currently available on Netflix. So if I now click on Start Watching Now, that should then automatically open up Netflix for me and take me directly to that show. So let's see if it does that. And we can see it's done exactly that. So directly to that show and now starts playing straight away. Let's back out of that. So that's how easy it is to find content in this application. And then this application will automatically launch whichever streaming service has the content that you want to see. Let's back out of that. Now here, for example, we can see this uh, show over here it says free on the top right. So if I click on that now, this tells me that I can watch this for free using the BBC iPlayer. But we can see on the top that unfortunately BBC iPlayer does not support the hot linking. So that means if I do want to watch this content, I need to open up the BBC iPlayer application on its own, find this content and I can then watch it from there. And for example, we can see this content is available on Prime Video. Let's click on that. And if I now click on play, this should now launch Prime Video for me and take me directly to this content. And we can see it's done exactly that. Now, linking content through Prime Video did seem to be a bit hit and miss with this application. Some things just worked straight away, it'll just come up, but other content for whatever reason would come up with an error. So I'm not sure if that's an issue with Prime Video or if that's an issue with Real Good. Let's back out of that. But now, for example, if I go over to settings, 
and in country we can specify our current location in fact you guys watching this video please do leave me a comment below and let me know which country you're watching from just so i can see how far the td uk videos actually go worldwide so do leave me that comment below okay so if i now click on this and let's say i'm actually watching from america and click on done and we can see straight away guys in terms of supported services you guys in America get a lot more content and especially a lot more free content because we can see now at the top, the free bundle includes Voodoo, Crackle, Tubi TV, IMDB TV, and lots and lots of more stuff. So let's leave that as is. Uh, let's click on done. Let's go back to home. And you can see now guys, there's just a lot more content available, especially if I go to the free section. So everything in here is absolutely free with the corresponding free service. So similarly, we can see if I want to watch uh, this thing over here and we can see that's free on Tubi TV. So as you can see, guys, if you do use this application from USA or if you do use a VPN with a USA location, you can access so much more content and particularly free content through this application. And let's back out of that. So wrapping this up, guys, I do think this is a fantastic application. It supports over 150 different streaming services. It works on your Fire Sticks, your Fire TV Cubes, or your Video Shield. It supports that hot linking from most of these uh, services. Not all of them, but, but definitely most of them. Has a great interface, doesn't need any mouse toggle, and of course is 100% free. So let me show you how you can now install this on all of your devices. So on your Amazon device, go over to your settings, My Fire TV, Go into developer options and just make sure you have the install from unknown applications enabled. Let's now press the home key and let's now start downloader. Inside downloader, we can type in a special code to get directly to my website. And that code is just 53402. So let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. And when you get there, you want to click on the hamburger menu, the one with the three lines, and then click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can use the new real good application on all of our devices. So let's open that up. Here it is. Uh, let's scroll down. And in fact, guys, it's actually more than 300 different streaming services, depending on your location. Let's scroll down. So here we have the step by step guide. And just under that, we have the link to the latest version. So let's click on that now. Scroll down and click on the green download button. And that will then download the application directly onto your device. Click on install, click on done, and here is the new application all working fine. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking on how we can get that Google TV functionality on our Fire Stick. And I do think this application is really good for that. So if you did find this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.